Mouin Rabani is a senior visiting fellow at the Institute for Palestine Studies in Washington, D.C. This Middle East-based analyst is in Washington until October 10th for public speaking events, and he's available for media appearances and press inquiries concerning the Palestinian United Nations Initiative. In this video, Rabani answers the question about Palestinian internal politics and the United Nations Initiative. The real story behind this initiative has uh, more to do with uh, Fatah than Hamas in the sense that um, uh, Mahmoud Abbas was coming under increasing pressure from within the Fatah movement um, to undertake a significant step that would help reverse uh, the disintegration of the movement and the collapse of its public support, which I think also needs to be seen in the context of the rivalry uh, with Hamas. What we've now seen in, in the wake of this uh, UN initiative is Abbas's position strengthened, at least temporarily, which will probably also have a positive knock-on effect for the Fatah movement. Uh, one consequence has been that uh, Hamas, which has been more or less entirely dismissive of this initiative until now, today, uh, by means of uh, the Prime Minister, its Prime Minister in Gaza, Ismail Haniyeh, has called for a strategic dialogue with the Palestinian leadership. I think Hamas's opposition uh, to this initiative is quite easily explained and has little to do with any serious ideological differences. Hamas feels marginalized. Hamas feels that uh, Abbas willfully ignored a key provision of the May Reconciliation Agreement, which stated that no significant steps would be taken except on the basis of a uh, Palestinian consensus, and um, uh, Hamas was trying to tap into skepticism and misgivings about this initiative among important sectors of Palestinian society. I would say also that um, the development of an alternative Palestinian strategy to seek to overcome uh, the many deficiencies of the Oslo Accords relies not only on the internationalization of the question of Palestine, but equally on the rejuvenation of the Palestinian movement. And I think it's quite clear that um, reconciliation is the essential first step in the revival of the Palestinian national movement. I think without serious reconciliation between, first and foremost, Hamas and Fatah, on the basis of a common political program, we're unlikely to make significant progress uh, towards a revival of, of the Palestinian national movement. Thank you.